Hey, what's up, baby? Destroy the objective. Blake here, Jinjar, whatever you want to call me. We got the bomb. And here we have a little different type of game for me because I'm not normally a search and destroy player in uh, Black Ops. I was in Call of Duty 4, somewhat in Modern Warfare 2, but uh, lately I've been playing some search with some friends and uh, I've been doing pretty well in it. But uh, yeah, I don't really play it that much. Uh, yeah, anymore. So this is the game, Search and Destroy on Array. Array, not one of my favorite masks, but that's normally because I play Domination. I don't know if you can hear that plane, but it's really annoying. But yeah, I play Domination, Demolition, uh, occasionally Free For All, just if I want to get an easy, like, 17 wins in a row or something like that, you know. Just play Free For All if I want to win, because... Not that many good people really play in the free for all playlist. And uh, here, right here, I was gonna plant it at that spot, but I remembered that I know a tomahawk spot on this map, so I go ahead and plant it at the corner, so I can, you know, throw the tomahawk perfectly. And what you do is you run to the back of the map to the other team's spawn when you're on offense. You go to the defensive spawn, and you come to this little corner, and you have to look straight up and aim it like right above where the bomb's at, like where it says defend A, you have to aim it right there but straight up so it's facing in that direction. And uh, I really had no way of telling when they were defusing it, so <laughs> I just threw this tomahawk at random and I got lucky. Good job, <laughs> Get ready for the next round. Yeah, I was going pretty crazy at this point in the game because uh, no one was watching me, they were all watching the other people and I was playing in a party of friends. And I was just screaming, and then when the kill cam played, everyone was like, OH MY GOD! And yeah, for some reason, in Search and Destroy, whenever you try to dolphin dive to get the bomb, you'll always, like, lag a little, and your uh, guy will kind of go to the side. And, uh, I don't know why it doesn't show up in theater mode, but, yeah, it gets really annoying when you're trying to get the bomb. But, uh, I got lucky, and our teammate died, so I'm gonna get the bomb anyway. And, uh, you know, when... Black Ops first came out a long, long time ago, like a year ago, I think. Yeah, it was about a year ago. Uh, sniping was ridiculously hard if you were going to be uh, sniping in Search and Destroy, especially. Because, uh, you know, I'm one of those guys that likes to semi run around in quick scope. Like, I don't quick scope all the time, but on occasions I, like that, I'll try to quick scope. Nah, when the game first came out, you could never really do that. And if you're wondering how I'm surviving, I am using Black Dragon, so it's not like I'm just Jesus, and I knew how to tactically place myself so I wouldn't die from those. I had no clue they were there, and I just got lucky. Right here, I'm running back to the uh, Tomahawk spot, but the round ends get before I can get there. Round. So, yeah. But uh, about the snipers, I like how they changed it back to uh, Call of Duty 4 style sniping, because in Call of Duty 4, I was a big fan of that game. Probably my favorite Call of Duty. Maybe that Call of Duty or, or Call of Duty 2 are tied, but I'm not really sure about that one, because they're both really good games. If you don't have Call of Duty 4 or Call of Duty 2, you should probably check it out. But not many people play online on either of them. A lot more people play on Call of Duty, Call of Duty 4 than Call of Duty 2. And uh, I don't know what I'm doing, but I was just going to this spot every single time to work out. The other team wasn't that great. They never even shot a bullet at me or like hit me once. Or, that guy shot a bullet at me, but he never actually hit me. And uh, the closest I think I got to dying this game was not getting shot at it. Uh, right there. That was probably the closest I got to dying because I didn't know he was coming. I just turned around, luckily saw him. And uh, I'm not really sure any things to do on this map for like helping you guys out, you know, but because I don't really play Search and Destroy, but uh, whenever the bomb's at A, it's pretty easy to defend it, as long as you just stay super far away from it, and you plant the bomb in an easy, easily visible area. That way you can just run away, and once they start defusing it, you can like shoot them with your pistol or something, so you yeah, don't even miss a bullet. And, uh, yeah. But if you know you can't, like, kill everyone in a Search and Destroy round, and you're the last one left, but you know you can like defend the bomb a bit. Just make sure that you stay alive and you keep on like harassing whoever starts defusing the bomb. Like shoot at them a couple times, and then once they see where you're at, try to run away and then come at the bomb from a different angle. Shoot at the bomb defuser so he gets hurt, and then you stop defusing. 
just smart plays like that, and it'll really help out, you know, get them aroused, <laughs> aroused that's what she said. It'll get them, uh, what they call it, I, I'm not sure what the word is, but, uh, they'll get kind of confused, they'll get a little jumpy, and then they'll start ending up chasing after you, and then eventually the bomb will go off, and you're gonna win the round easily, so. Right there, that was the game. I'm not sure what I did this game, but I was sniping, and I did pretty well. Uh, 15 and 0 with two plants, I'm pretty sure. So that's a really good game for any search and destroy player, I think. Especially good for me because I don't know if we play search and destroy.